I've been in Las Vegas for 30 years, uh, started in the real estate development and construction business. I started Evergreen in 1997. I saw the need for uh, recycling and construction waste dumpster service. The affliction really uh, started as muscle stiffness in my, in my left leg and my right leg and my back. But the one key thing that was going on then, I couldn't get up on my toes. Finally in October of 2010, they uh, diagnosed me with ALS. If you say you have Lou Gehrig's disease, anybody over 50 knows who Lou Gehrig was. But it's not Lou Gehrig's disease, it's mine. It's uh, Joe Brown, it's uh, Robert Forbes, it's uh, Steve Ragazio. And these are, all, these are all people in the community that were, that were pillars of the community. He's really committed to ALS of Nevada to help make sure that we're here for future patients. You can kind of see a positive aura around him. He's just fun to be around. When you leave a meeting with him, no matter what kind of meeting is, you're always excited and upbeat about what's going to happen next. I didn't realize after talking to Megan that a lot of people have ALS and don't know it and don't know the services that are available. Clearly there was a need to expose the fine work that they do there and let people know about the services and the great volunteers that, that are part of ALS Nevada. I think staying active and staying engaged is very important. If my legacy is anything, it's to be brave and to let people know what's going on and to talk about it. Another patient said something I think is very apropos. You know, I have ALS, but ALS does not have me. That's the key.